Okay, welcome. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can use your phone to scan a multi-page homework assignment or quiz or whatever and turn it into a PDF file that you can upload to Canvas. Now, whenever you submit an assignment to Canvas, no matter how many pages it is, it should be one single PDF and the file name should begin with your last name. So in this case, we're going to use Adobe Scan, which is available on both iOS, in other words, iPhones, and Android phones. So basically any device that you're using, even tablets, you can get Adobe Scan. It's a great program. It's free and it's available for everything. So Adobe invented the PDF. They should be able to make a good PDF scanner and it is the best PDF scanner I've seen and it's free. It doesn't require you to have a subscription and pay monthly like some other apps do. Now, I also did a video on how you can use the iOS Notes app. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can use the Notes app to do your scanning. And I showed you how to scan with your Notes app and then go to Google Classroom. That's a different video, link in the description for that one. But today's video, I'm just gonna talk about Adobe Scan since it's cross-platform, you can use it on iPhone and Android. And we're gonna go straight to Canvas Student. This is the Canvas Student app. So you need to have the Canvas Student app so that you can take your scans and upload them to Canvas this way. So here we go. You start by opening the Adobe Scan app, okay? And it goes right to the camera by default, which is fine. If it doesn't, let's say it takes you to your local scans here, then all you have to do is hit the camera button down here, okay? Either way, you're in the camera now. Now, you can notice at the bottom here, they have different settings like business card, document, form, whiteboard. I suggest you just go with document. That seems to work really well. Okay, now here's my uh, notebook here. Oh, one more thing. There is a button here that says auto scan. You can turn that off if you don't want to. If you turn that off, you'll have to press the camera button manually when you're ready. Otherwise, if you put on auto scan and I'll turn it on, it will look for the document by itself. See, it's finding the corners there by itself and it will, there you go, it scanned it by itself. Now I'm gonna to go to page two. I'm just gonna hold the camera steady. There you go, page two. Now, page three, I'm gonna to try to make it blurry just because I wanna de demonstrate what happens if you have a blurry. Okay, there you go, I was tapping it to make it shake. And now page four. Now remember, page three is the blurry one. We need to exchange that one later. And then here's page four. Okay, so I'm done. I'm gonna come down here where it shows the four pages and tap on that. And there you go, there's my scan right there. Okay, four pages. Now. What you need to do at this point is decide a couple of things. One, is this a clear scan? So pinch and zoom in and look in. Wow, actually the first page is blurry. I thought the first page would be fine. I, my hand didn't shake, but okay, I'm gonna redo the first page. How about the second page? Nope, second page looks crystal clear, nice. Look at that, okay. Now, sometimes when you use one of these things, especially if you're doing two-sided sheets like I'm doing, you might have some ghosts of the other side of the page there. You can come down to the bottom here. Okay, let me zoom in on the bottom. You can come down to the bottom here and choose color and try a different filter. So right now it's on auto color, which is usually the best. But if that doesn't work, try, well, there's grayscale, which is black and white. We can try whiteboard, okay? That one actually, the background is still kind of more visible. And then finally we have original color. That's terrible. Do not use that because that's just a photograph. That's not even, you know, that you're not taking advantage of the fact that you're using a scanning app at this point. So don't do that. This is horrible. It's hard to read. Definitely go with either auto color or whiteboard. Those are the top two for me. But okay, I'm gonna go with auto color. It wasn't that bad. Let's go with that. Okay, that was pretty good. You can see the, the writing is nice and in focus. Everything is good. Let's go on to the next page here. This one's also pretty good. This was the third one I was trying to make blurry. It's actually not bad. The first one's blurry though, so I'm gonna replace that. And the fourth one, yeah, it all looks good. So the first one is the one that's no good. So I need to get rid of that first page and replace it. So I'm gonna come down here and scroll to the, uh, the end of the thing here where there's a, see that? There's a garbage can. I'm gonna delete the first page, I'm gonna hit yes now. And we're deleting that first page because it's blurry. Then we're gonna to come to the beginning here where it says add page, click it, that'll bring the camera back up. Okay, we're gonna come over here, go back to page one and rescan it because my page one does not look good. Let me try this again. Okay, and now let's take a look at page one. Now page one unfortunately is, is in page four's spot. But let me take a look at it now. Zoom in. Yeah, that's a lot better. 
Okay, great. But the problem is it's out of order now. So what you can do is click on reorder here, click on that, and my page one is now here. I want to move it here. Okay, and now it's reordered. It's in the correct order. Come over here, click the check mark, and your stuff is in the right order. By the way, if you want to recrop anything, like for instance, if you don't want to have these uh, coil holes over here on the edge of the notebook, you can crop them out by clicking the crop button. And if you want to rotate your document, you can by clicking rotate. So if you want to rotate this for some reason, you can. And if you want to recrop, hit the crop button. Okay. And you can drag the corners like that, right? Or you can click auto detect and it'll, it'll tell you what it thinks is the case. I, I like the auto detect, but I'm going to bring this in. If you grab the middle here, the middle bar here, it'll stay straight, okay? So I'm gonna grab that, just bring that in, maybe bring the bottom in a little bit, the top like that. Hit the check mark at the top, and that looks better. And how about here? This one's got a black uh, mark across the top, and I'm gonna crop those out by grabbing the middle bar here, okay, and bringing that down, and grabbing the middle bar here, and cropping out the coil. And I think the bottom is okay. Let's hit the check mark. Boom, there you go, nice and clean, nice clean scan. Let's do this one real quick here. All right, done. And this one here, same thing. I'll just crop out the edge here. Try not to, make sure you don't crop out any work. The top a little bit, the bottom I think is all right. And boom, there you go. So all four pages are in the right order. They look good, we are done. They also have this thing called cleanup down here which is sort of like an eraser but I guess if you really needed to erase something you can hit clean up okay and you can just use your finger so it's pink while you're erasing I guess so it lets you clean up stuff if you really needed to I'm going to cancel out of that or undo actually going to hit the undo buttons up here because I didn't want to delete anything but I guess that's a nice option I've never seen that in another app but Adobe has it so Adobe scan anyway hit the check mark when you're done you have all of your pages here. The only thing left to do now is to rename your document. Now, let's say your name is Stephanie Lopez hyphen Morales. So you have a hyphenated last name. Your first name is Stephanie. Your last name is Lopez Morales. You need to have a file name where it starts with your last name. So this needs to start with Lopez, not Morales and not Stephanie. So there you go, Lopez. And then from there, if you want to do comma Stephanie, let's say there's more than one Lopez in the classroom, you can do that. So there you go, and you hit OK. If you want to add homework or quiz or something like that, some teachers want you to do that, you could say homework or quiz one or whatever. OK, I'm going to hit OK now down here. OK, and now we're ready to go. So we're going to hit Save PDF up here. All right. And now it brings us to our list of saved PDFs here. And you see that you have the option to share, open in Acrobat, comments, whatever. Okay, we're going to share and we're going to send it to Canvas student. So I'm going to click the share button right here. Now this share button might look a little different on Android, but there will be a share button of some sort. I'm going to click on that there. And at the bottom it says share link, which you don't want to do, email, which you can do if you want to for somebody else, but not for Canvas, and share a copy. This is the one you're going to use to open in a different app. So I'm going to click share copy, and you can see here that you have a bunch of apps that you can choose from. Now, if you don't see Canvas Student, which is the one here, it might be further down the line, so just scroll over. If you want to rearrange these, just click, on iPhone at least, click the more button, and it'll give you the opportunity to drag these around and change the order. Now, I already have it set up the way I like it, so I'm not going to do that. Anyway, in, I, in Android, it's the same thing. You click Open In, and it'll give you a list of programs that will accept the PDF. I'm going to choose Canvas Student here, okay? And it's not even going to open Canvas Student. It's actually just going to ask me what course do I want, because I'm already logged into Canvas Student. Okay, and there we go, Algebra 2, Honors. And then which assignment? I've only created one assignment, so let's see if it's there. Yep, there it is, Example Assignment. Choose the assignment, and then hit Submit. So let me take a look at Canvas Student. We go over here, we go to Assignments, Example Assignment, and it says you have successfully submitted. And let's see, Submission and Rubric. There it is. There's the four-page document that I, as a teacher, can write on this and grade it. 
And that's why it needs to be a single PDF, not a photograph. And you know, even though you know you might be able to upload a photograph, we don't want photographs. We want PDFs as teachers so that we can write on them and we can grade them and give them back to you. Okay. So there you go. That's how this works. Like and subscribe. See you at the next video. Check this.